Introducing the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 mobile platform. It looks great from every angle. Big moment, everybody. Let me tell you a little bit about the platform. We designed the 8 Gen 2 with one key technology in mind, artificial intelligence. Qualcomm is the AI inferencing leader at the edge. Today, we already power billions of edge devices across the globe. We've built on that expertise to make our new flagship platform an engine of innovation, a true AI marvel. We've integrated AI across the entire platform to usher in a new era of AI-accelerated experiences. Let me share with you just a few of the highlights and changes we've made throughout the system. First, let's start with the Qualcomm Hexagon processor, our central high-performance in inference powerhouse, which has received major upgrades this year. We've made significant hardware advances across multiple aspects of the design, like doubling the size of our tensor accelerator and adding a host of new hardware accelerated features. We'll share more details later on today. iPhone 14 Pro is powered by our new A16 Bionic chip. Our newest generation of Apple Silicon powers every experience in iPhone. With A16, we focused on three important areas, power efficiency, display, and camera. Delivering incredible performance with leading power efficiency is a hallmark of Apple Silicon. A16 has nearly 16 billion transistors, the most ever in an iPhone. This is our first chip built on a state-of-the-art four nanometer process enabling greater efficiency while delivering even more performance. In fact, A16 Bionic is the fastest chip ever in a smartphone. The competition is still working to catch up with the performance of A13, which we first introduced with iPhone 11 three years ago. The new six-core CPU of A16 is generations ahead. It's up to a whopping 40% faster than the competition. Together, these enhancements deliver massive performance and power improvements. For example, users will see an increase in natural language processing capability of more than 4x, along with up to 60% better power consumption. Now let's talk about the next generation Qualcomm Sensing Hub. This is a portion of the design best known for its role in low power contextual awareness use cases. The Sensing Hub uses AI to process input from audio, video, visual, and uh, sensor information to detect the environment around you and then adapt. Based on all the new emerging use cases, we've added a second AI processor for a substantial increase in performance. This will further enhance the always sensing capabilities in the area of audio and sensors, but will create whole new use cases utilizing our latest always sensing camera. This will revolutionize how cameras recognize context. And what happens to the information we gather? It's protected and secure, never leaves the Qualcomm Sensing Hub. Now let's dive into high performance camera and the AI integration there. We've added a physical bridge called the Hexagon Direct Link between the Hexagon and the Qualcomm Spectra ISP to create a direct channel between them. The result of this pairing is what we call the cognitive ISP, the very first of its kind in the mobile industry. You know, we've used AI for imaging before, but now with the Hexagon Direct Link, it's much more integrated. We can tap into the power of Hexagon at multiple points in the processing to create whole new experiences. The cognitive ISP now enables your smartphone camera to see and understand the world around you in many layers and adapt in real time. We also continue to advance high resolution video playback by adding support for 8K HDR 60 FPS video. Our survey of AI across the whole platform continues with connectivity. Our truly global X70 5G modem RF system features the world's first and only 5G AI processor in a mobile platform. 
It harnesses the power of AI to enable breakthrough 5G performance. The AI processor is actually housed inside the modem itself to optimize in real time a variety of critical parameters. These include channel state feedback, millimeter wave beamforming, antenna tuning, and other adaptive functions, unlocking unparalleled connectivity, speed, and improvements to coverage, latency, reliability, and battery life. Plus, the Snapdragon 8 ushers in the Wi-Fi 7 era, with the Fast Connect 7800, the world's first and only Wi-Fi 7 solution with high-band simultaneous multilink. HBS Multilink unlocks global peak Wi-Fi 7 performance, more than doubling Wi-Fi 6 speeds, now up to 5.8 gigabits per second, with sustained latency of less than two milliseconds. The Fast Connect 7800 also brings advanced dual Bluetooth technology, doubling the range of your Bluetooth connections. We've now covered a great deal of AI across the entire platform. Let's pivot to graphics. Our Qualcomm Adreno GPU is at the heart of Snapdragon Elite Gaming. This year, it will boast a 25% increase in graphics rendering performance, as well as a 45% increase. In power efficiency. Plus, this generation we've added Vulkan 1.3 support. This will improve Vulkan performance by up to 30 percent. We also have some incredible immersive gaming features, which we'll share with you later on today. Our Adreno Display subsystem has also received significant improvements this year to improve the on-device viewing experience. I'm thrilled to announce that the Adreno Display. Is the first and only platform to support all key HDR formats, including HDR Vivid, 10, HDR 10, 10 Plus, and Dolby Vision. Next up is our Qualcomm Cryo CPU. We've made major strides in CPU performance and power by delivering generational improvements in the microarchitecture of individual cores, and then by combining those cores in a new, innovative way. As you can see, we've historically had a prime core, three performance cores, and four efficiency cores in the CPU. But with this generation, we've converted one of those efficiency cores into an additional performance core. This will deliver a significant leap forward in multi-threaded performance, the first of its kind、uh, in the mobile industry. These four performance cores are actually made up of two distinct microarchitectures. This will best address all types of applications, including providing high performance for legacy 32-bit applications. In addition to these architecture and microarchitecture improvements, we've raised peak frequencies. For example, on the prime core, we will enable a max CPU frequency of 3.2 gigahertz. Overall, our new Cryo CPU will deliver improved performance and power efficiency across the board. The CPU uses our best-in-class fusion architecture, which delivers both leading performance and leading efficiency. Our two high-performance cores are faster and use 20% lower power compared to the A15 Bionic, and most daily tasks can be handled by our high-efficiency cores. At the same performance level, these new efficiency cores use one-third the power of even the best efficiency cores from the competition. This allows iPhone to deliver amazing battery life while still being extremely responsive. The new 16-core neural engine is capable of nearly 17 trillion operations per second, which helps power iPhone's advanced computational photography. And the 5-core GPU has 50% more memory bandwidth. Great for graphic-intensive games. There's also an entirely new display engine in A16. This engine enables the one hertz refresh rate, always-on capability, higher peak brightness, and the advanced anti-aliasing that makes dynamic island animations so incredibly smooth. A16 also flexes every muscle for the iPhone 14 Pro camera system. It uses the CPU, GPU, neural engine, and ISP to perform up to four trillion operations per photo. And the image signal processor was designed to support a new generation of technology that provides our most powerful pro camera system ever.